Assalamu alaikum dear student how are you everyone i hope you are all fine and doing well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nievs home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 student dear student our today's topic is information and communication let's see today's topic our topic is information and communication and this is lecture number 7 and i will give you some sw your sw number will be 7 dear student information is a knowledge that we get from someone or something like we get information from radio television newspaper and you get information also your friends and people and family members and communication means exchanging information let's see today's class at first we will read this chapter and then we will do some exercise we will discuss about short question and this is chapter 11 in your book and when you watching this class dear student this is your science book when you watching this class you can open your book also this is chapter 11 chapter 11 information and communication and this is page number 69 so let's start the class ways of collecting information information is knowledge that we get about someone or something we are always getting various kinds of information such as events weather and news information comes from different sources such as the television radio newspaper and books we get information on the weather from the television or radio we learn a lot of things from our textbooks nowadays we can get information through the internet tools such as television radio and newspaper that are used to deliver information are called media we also gather information from people through communication we hear messages or experiences from parents or classmates information can tell people something new or help them make a decision sharing information is also very important for our life if you hear of a cyclone alert you should tell other people if you do not share the information people may suffer heavy damage from the cyclone we should gather and share correct information for a better life if you can see this picture you can get information from people book television radio newspaper and computer and now exchanging information people have developed various types of technology such as the newspaper books radio tv and computer we can get information and communicate with people by using technologies communication means exchanging information a long time ago people communicated with each other by drawing or speaking to communicate it with people who lived far away people went to see them or sent a messenger people send messages by using carrier pigeons smoke signals or beating drum if you can see this picture here is a pigeon sending message through carrier pigeon and here is a uh, beating his beating drum for communication now we use 
technology when we exchange information. We can talk with people by using LAN telephone or mobile phone even through we live very far from each other. We can exchange messages through email. We can communicate with people by sending letters also. Our lifestyle will be more easier along with the advancement of technology. You can see this picture they are using telephone for exchange information and here is a announcing through Loud Heller and he is posting, she is posting later. Dear student, now we will discuss about short question. Here is only one short question. The question will be write five sources of information. The answer will be information is knowledge that we get about someone or something. Information comes from different sources such as newspaper, books, radio, television and computer. Here is the five points. So dear student, you have to do some SW. Your SW will be and this is your seven number SW and your SW will be short short question answer one here is the only one short question answer and you have to write this as your SW and remember that this is seven number SW when you will do your SW you have to write seven number SW in top of your SW copy so that's it dear, dear student I have finished my today's topic I hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practice at home and do your SN SW in your SW copy. And you have to submit your SW on Sunday, every Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you will get 2.5 marks for each SW. So, dear student, I hope you will submit your SW properly and stay home, stay safe. See you again in our next class. Till then, Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.